Hi guys, Scott here today to bring you a football skills and drills session. We're going to be doing lots of different types of skills and drills with your ball. We're using a very, very small space today, okay? Only a couple of metres either side of you. I've set mine out with cones, but you can use all different types of things to just put around wherever, you're, wherever you are, whether you're in your garden, whether you're in your front room, whether you're in school, okay? Anywhere where you've got a small space, you need a ball, soft ball, hard ball, whichever one is most appropriate. For your space, you can use different types of things like plastic cups, you could use socks, you could use your drinks bottles, anything that you can sort of make a, a little area that you can then stand with the ball inside and use. Okay guys, for our warm up, nice and simple, in the middle of your square or your space, ball in front of you, you can do some simple ball skills and just where the ball is nice and still. So you're going to be doing a little warm up, a bit of aerobics with the ball at your feet. Our first one we're going to do are, is toe taps. So we're going to touch the top of the ball with the sole of our foot, like we're marching, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. If we're feeling a bit more confident, we can go a bit faster to go into a little bit of a jog. Trying to keep that ball as still as you possibly can. Okay, that's our first one. Our second one is moving the ball side to side. So with your inside of your foot, the inside part of your foot, using the left foot and the right foot, moving the ball side to side, trying to keep the ball inside your legs. Okay, you might start off slow, you might go a bit faster if you can go faster, trying to keep that ball as close to your feet as you possibly can. Okay, our third one, a bit more aerobics for us. Ball still, we're going to go down on our knees and we're going to touch the top of the ball with our right knee and then our left knee. Our right knee and our left knee. If we can go a bit faster, then we get the hang of it, can we turn? Keeping that ball as still as you can, so you're just touching the top of the ball really lightly. Okay? Does that make sense, guys? Toe taps, side to side, knee, touching the top of the ball. Are we ready? We're going to go for one minute. Three, two, one, go. Toe taps, maybe start off slow, can you go a bit faster? Keeping that ball really close to your feet. Not letting it dribble around too much. Keep it close. We're going to move on to side to side. Right foot, left foot. Again, keep that ball really close to your feet. Really close. Lots of little touches. Lots of little touches. Keep that ball close. We're going to move on to the third one in three, two, one. Now, knee, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee, left knee. Try and go as fast as you can. Okay guys, and freeze. Good work. If you want to have another go at that now, if you're feeling just to warm yourselves up for another minute, good work guys, well done. So guys, moving on from our warm-up, similar type of thing, but this time we're going to move around the space that we've got available to us. Okay, so just to recap, side to side, toe taps, and our knee. This one's going to be, the, the knee is going to be the hardest one to move around, but that's okay. We're just going to try and move the ball with our knee, moving around the space, okay? Are we ready? We're going to start off with our toe taps. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. So we're going to move toe taps, we're going to move around our space, try and just nudge the ball in front of you. You're moving around, you might want to take direction, moving that ball around your space. Change direction, moving around the space, just pushing the ball slightly in front of you. Moving the ball around your space. Another 15 seconds, change direction this way, moving around. And freeze. Good work. This time, number two. Moving the ball side to side. This one's easier to move around the space. Okay, are we ready? Make sure you keep that ball really close. Try not to let that ball go too far away from your feet. Ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Moving around the space. Keep that ball really close. Moving around and turn. Go back to the middle. 
we move to one to the other end. Keep that ball really close. Keep that ball moving up as much as you can, guys. Keep going. 15 seconds. Go as fast as you can. Five seconds. And freeze, guys. Good work. Our third movement, our third uh, control of the ball is using our knees. Now, what we're going to do with our knees is we're just going to move the ball forward and try and see if we can move the ball around our square. This one's going to be quite difficult. Also, your legs might start to hurt after a few seconds. Okay? But we're going to give it a go. We're going to do this one for about 30 seconds. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. And can we move the ball around with our knees? Good work out this one. Can we move it around with our knees? Quite tricky. You can move it, that's brilliant. Get stuck occasionally. Keep moving it around. The game can start to hate a little bit. Keep going, another 10 seconds. Good work guys, well done. Okay guys, for our third drill, we're going to play a game of around the world. Some of you may have played with us before. Okay, we're going to slightly change it, obviously because we haven't got so much room. But, we're going to use our four corners of our square, so whether you've got socks out or whether you haven't got anything out there, that's fine. Just use the four corners of your square. We're going to move about our square, so we're going to do a bit more moving with the ball, trying to dribble from corner to corner. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to run to the square to the right hand side in front of us, to the corner. So we're going to move with the ball using both feet. We're going to get to that cone, or the corner of your square. We're going to stop with the ball. We're going to turn to our left. Okay, dragging the ball across, like our toe taps, we put the foot on top of the ball. Okay, we're going to drag it across in front of us and dribble across the next square, do exactly the same, we're stopping the ball, making sure we've got it under control. Okay, and then we're going to drive the ball across, run back right to the top of that square, we're then going to turn, come back to this square, and go round. So we're making our way around the square, visiting each corner. Okay, like in around the world, when we visit each country, okay, but we're just going to visit each corner, making sure the ball's nice and close to our feet, okay, and we're stopping it at each corner. We don't want to see the ball being passed along and going around because wherever you are you might damage or break something. Okay, so we're going to do that for about a minute, going around, and then we're going to change direction and go the opposite way. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Stopping it on the corner, dragging it across, going around, stopping it, dragging it across, dribbling. Good, make sure you're staying close to your feet. Try and use both feet to stop it, maybe use your left foot and drag it with your right foot. Stopping the ball, going again. Stopping the ball, going around. Keep going. Keep that ball nice and close to your feet. Maybe try and go a little bit faster if you find it too easy. Stop by the cone. Keep going, good one up. Okay, and stop there. We are now going to try and go the opposite way, okay? So you may have used both your feet in that one, okay? But this will force you to now use the opposite foot when we go the opposite way. Okay, so we're going to go from our left front side first, and then work our way around the four cones, okay? Are we ready? And away we go. Okay, you might be getting a little bit tired. Keep going, keep that one close to your feet. Maybe use your right foot in one corner and your left foot in the next. Keep moving. 
and stop there. Okay, very well done. If you want to do that again, maybe move from, instead of just going around in a square, you could go diagonal and go from this corner. Maybe a couple of the way back and go to this one. Okay, you can make it up how you want to do it. Maybe give that a few more goes. Okay, maybe you give yourself a time limit and see how many homes you can visit in that time. Well done. So, for our fourth drill, we're going to look at now doing some passing. Okay, we're going to look at passing sort of standing still first. We're going to look at controlling the ball with the inside of our foot, stopping it, and then passing it back. We have got someone else with us today, so instead of using a wall like we've done before, if you want to use a wall because there's no one else to do it, that's fine, you can use a wall. Okay, or if you've got a brother, sister, okay, or mum or dad or granddad, whoever with you, okay, they can maybe be the servant for you and join in with your session to help you out. So, what we're going to do, we've got Scott here as our, as our ball person, distributing the ball out to me. So, Scott is going to roll the ball, you're going to get the person to roll the ball nice and lightly towards you, you're going to stop it at the inside of your foot, okay? You can use the bottom of your foot, but as we've always said, if you use the bottom of your foot, you've got the rest of the ball running underneath your foot. So, we'd like to use the inside of your foot, stopping the ball. We're then going to pass the ball back to Scott, okay, using the inside of our foot, making sure our foot finishes up, okay, pointing towards the person we're passing it to. Okay, we don't want to smack it really, really hard, okay, because if you're indoors, you can end up breaking it. Okay, so we want it to go back to Scott, we're then going to go, Scott's going to roll it in. We're going to use the other foot, we're going to stop it, and we're going to pass it back. So we're using both feet, okay, it's always good to use both feet and not just use one. We're going to do that for about a minute, okay, and then we'll progress it on to something else, okay. Are we ready, Scott? Away you go. Rolls it in, controls it, makes sure you stop, gets himself set. Get yourself set, ready to pass the ball back. Good. Okay, not too hard. You want it to go back into the person's hands. Whoa, come on. Good, make sure you're moving those feet nice and light on those toes, on your toes all the time. You can adjust your body. That's it, keep going. Make sure we're using the right and left foot. All the time. Keep going, last 10 seconds. Get a few more in. Keep going, last few. Last one, do last one. Okay, and stop there. Very good, okay? You can try that again if you want to. Okay, maybe set yourself a challenge. Maybe set yourself a minute or two minutes or 30 seconds. See how many you can do within those 30 seconds. Well done. Okay, so moving on from that fourth one, then we're going to progress on to the fifth drill. What we're going to do now is we're going to add in a bit of movement from one side to another. Okay, so we're going to take your back object, okay, whether it's a sock, comb, shoe, whatever you've got, okay, and we're going to just drop it in front of me here. So I'm still quite far away from Scott. Okay, you can go closer if you want to, if you want to, difficult. We're going to stand directly in behind it. Okay, Scott is going to pass me the ball. I'm going to control the ball. Okay, take it round my cone and pass it back to him with the opposite foot. I then wait this side, he'll pass it to me. I go round my cone and pass it back. It's really important that we control that ball. You can stop it if you'd like to. Roll it along like our toe taps we were doing earlier. Roll the ball along and pass it back to our person who's feeding the ball in. Okay, so we're going to do that for a minute. See how many you can do. Are we ready? And away we go. We see the ball, control it, we move, we pass it back, we we'll wait for the ball again. Move to the side. Good. Control it, roll it across, pass it back. More. Left side. Control it and pass it back. You can do it in one movement or you can stop it. Roll it, pass. Either way. Make sure you get both feet. My right foot across to my left foot. Good, try not to hit the cone as well. Keep going, get all nice and close to your feet. Oh, there you go, see, keep it nice and close. Okay, thank you. 
Last 10 seconds. Try and get a few more in. See if we can get three in. Two. And three. There we go. See so someone on the last one? You're going a little bit further out. Okay, try and keep that ball as close as you can. Again, same as you did with the first one. Set yourself a challenge. See how many you can do in a minute. Maybe if you've got room, extend the space a little bit more. So you've got a bit of a longer pass. Well done. Okay, so for our final little challenge, okay, I would like you to do similar to what we did before, if you've watched the videos before, we did a hockey one, where we dribble and we wrote our name when we were dribbling around. Okay, so we're going to look at, again, okay, going back to our dribbling from earlier on, okay, we're going to dribble in our space, dribbling around. So I'm going to write my name, so I'm going to write Ryan, so I'm going to start off with an R. So I'm going to dribble forwards, get to the top, I'm going to go round, okay, back. So you're going to do the last bit. So you're going to try and spell our name out. Okay, you can spell your name out, you can spell your brother, sister, okay, which, whatever name you want to spell out. You may be the name of your school if you want to do it a bit harder. Okay, so you do each letter individually. Okay, trying to move nice and swift, okay. Trying to keep the ball nice and close to your feet though. Okay, so we're going to have a quick go at that now. Okay, so we're going to try and spell our names. Are we ready? And away we go. So we go up. And we go around. And then turn that, okay. Then we're going to get up again, drag the ball back, make the wide, we go up, down, and across, okay. Using both feet to do the end now, going back, and back up, okay. So some of you might have longer names, so it might take you a bit longer than that, okay. But it's up to you, how you whose name you want to do, whether it's your name or a school. Okay, we've also done a Key Stage 2 video, so if you found this one slightly easy, okay, or you want to try and progress a bit further, okay, Scott has done a Key Stage 2 video, okay, which will allow you some, some progressions on what we've done, so I'll pass him on, there's some progressions on that to use the space a bit differently, okay, a bit more movement involved, okay, but well done, have a go at that, see how many, see if you can time it maybe, and see how fast you can write your name, well done.